Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 104. We're level 19 now. So there's a couple things we need to do. What I wanted to do was rescue the little demon-possessed girl and to do that we need her name. And her name can be acquired from the school. But part of the problem with that is you get over into this area of the city and you're going to run into an encounter that can be really frustrating for people who don't understand what's happening. The game has a pretty good self-regulatory system where as long as you don't attack anything higher than your level, you're going to be okay. But if you do attack something higher than your level, you're usually going to die. So here comes this strange encounter. Several bystanders are suddenly engulfed by smoke and flame. Flesh melts, bone reshapes, black eyes glare, and fanged maws hiss sulfurously. The doctor sends his ill wishes. You killed his advocate. Now you must pay. So this starts and they become these nemesis soul hunters and they're level 20. And so you're thinking, what? I, I can't kill these guys. And in fact, things like this frequently happen where fame is already down half his hit points. And the paladins are close by, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. They're, they're about as useful as the early paladins were, which is to say not very useful at all. So, Fane is probably going to die, and he does. And you're thinking, what? This is dumb. And it kind of is. This is, this is one of those times when the game decides to do something that I just consider really stupid. Obviously, all these creatures get attacks before we get to do anything, and they're level 20, so they're over our level. And you're like, there's no way I can win this battle. And there actually isn't. There's no way that you can win. What there is, is you don't have to win the battle. You just have to damage one of them and almost kill it, and then they quit. And that can be a little bit difficult to deal with. So, what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to teleport this bozo over to here. And then I'm going to nether swap Ifon and this other one. And then I'm going to create a Think so. Got a couple different things I can do here, but I'm gonna power and fuse him. And all he needs to do is get one of them down, and this guy has the lowest amount of magic armor, so that's who we're gonna aim for. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Take that door off, and he's got no more magic armor, which is perfect. And I don't, and I don't have enough AP to kill him, so I'm gonna end my turn. But the first time you're playing this game, you're not gonna know that you only need to kill one of these guys, or almost kill him for them to quit. You're just thinking, well, this really stinks. And you might just be stubborn enough to try to, to keep going to win. Uh, and not realizing that winning the normal way isn't really a winning condition. What I'm going to do is torture these guys and keep them from moving. And I might have been able to win it by just dropping Meteor Shower on them, but since I don't know that for sure. Apotheosis. Save a point. And I'm basically... All we need to do is keep Red Prince alive and we're going to be okay. So Red will get some Vampiric 
actually, I might give it to uh, Ephone because if he does enough damage, he can heal himself. So Red needs more of this. He needs the physical element. Everything we can do to keep Red alive right now. These guys can't move now, so they're stuck there. They're grabbing swords from each other, which is actually really funny. When he just aimed at his own guy. That's how that is. So now Red Prince has not enough points to drop medium shot, but he's got enough to do this. Yeah, I was hoping it would do that to get over there. So next turn I'm hoping he can drop meteor shot. If he stays alive, which he's almost dead. Can't move, entangled. That guy's almost dead. There you go. So we've damaged one guy enough for him to save. Get the hell out of here. Which is not good, but can't move. Entangled. Oh, you need to heal yourself, buddy. Alright, so that is one of those annoying things, and I don't always have people die on that, but it seems like somebody gets to be the higher of those enemies and ends up dying frequently enough that I just kind of live with it. Alright. At least it's over. That's the important part. Old note. Note to self, forbid the children from bringing pets to class in the future. Buttons may be a very cute kitten, but it causes too much of a distraction every time Iris brings him along. Buttons. That's the name of the undead cat from Blood Moon Island. Indeed it then is. Then Iris must be the name of the little girl. Yes, it is. So let's go rescue her. Before we can do that, I gotta make sure everyone has all the source they're supposed to have. Because <laughs> Meteor Shower will also get dropped here. <laughs> In pretty much any battle that I can make it happen at the end of the game. In this last act. First of all, because Meteor Shower is just fun. <laughs> but it's also extremely effective. someone find a corpse somewhere and there are plenty of them in arcs somewhere see there's a magister down here so there's a magister and there's this abyssal void flare Everybody's there. We're ready to go rescue Iris. This battle is also somewhat frustrating. All right, folks, I'm having to splice this Iris video because I have tried this battle twice now. And the first time I was basically a complete moron and was dropping immunities and dropping spells on, on characters that were immune. So that wasn't helpful. And then the uh, second time, the Red Prince got mad and wiped everybody out. Including all his own teammates. So I wanted to see what, what I had that prevents mad she can make mad characters do things. I don't know that I have 
Something prevents mad, and I can't remember what it is. So I kind of wanted to figure that out. There's poison bleeding. What else do I have? Clears frozen stun, knocked down, petrified. What do you got? Is is it your thing? Oh yeah, this prevents man. Okay, before, I'm gonna set clear mind on red before the fight starts because his turning mad was a real was a real turning point. The girl's spine suddenly arches back at an unnatural. Press morphs into a deep throaty chuckle. She straightens and looks at you. Her eyes are black. She is ours. You will not speak to her. You cannot help her. Tell the girl that she's strong enough to vanquish this demon. It's nothing but a parasite. The girl squeezes her eyes shut and bows her head. Her own voice emerges, quavering with stress. I... I can, can do it. I can feel the sunlight and the air and the... The laugh rises once more, and the girl lifts her head. Her gleeful eyes remain pitch black. Fool! She is ours! Any strength is ours! Hero responds. Sees the girl's shoulders and stare past the black gaze of the demon. She can do this. Fight. Her eyes clear for just a moment, showing a brief glimpse of the child within. Then, the blackness fills them once again, and the demon hisses at you. You give her hope. Good. It will make her spirit all the more delicious for us when she breaks. The child's purity cannot protect her forever. Tell the girl that you're going to help her resist the demon. She cannot resist us. She is nothing. She doesn't even have a name. Try to peer beyond the blackness of the girl's eyes and say you want to ask her some questions in order to help her. Fool, you're wasting your time. Ask her what her name is. Her name is Lost. Nothing. Soon she will be nothing. Say that you're going to give the girl a name. Restoring her identity will give her the strength to beat the demon. A harsh rattling laugh you put too much faith in the girl's spirit she cannot resist us call her by her true name iris the girl's eyes start to clear and this time they stay clear right, i'm gonna save the game right there in case we gotta do this a fourth time no no red prince clear mind yourself there buddy This fool here has fire and earth immunity. And when he comes right over here to attack the red prince and then he misses. That's different than last time and totally, totally unexpected. Um, I'm gonna stabby stabby this guy. Oh, that was nice. Um, I like what I did last time. Rupture tendons. And then chicken claw this guy because he ran around a lot. Losa, my darling dear. Can you please summon your big bad boy? And then can you take this guy and move him? Over here. Red Prince, you need to kill this fool right here. So, fire whip him. 
And then let's look at what he is. He's Im he's immune to petrify. So I gotta kill him some other way. I'm gonna try to kill him really quick. This is gonna do it. He's dead. Great. That's just what I wanted. And now there are two more points, so I'm gonna go invisible so I can stay out of not I don't want to be a mark for this other dude. Cause he's gonna try to make some people go mad and I don't want it to be me. Tended on, on Fane and he missed. This thing's gonna go after the bone spider. It creates oh demonic madness on the bone spider. That's awesome. Oh, and then he's trying to run. Oh, he's gonna go after the Los. Fane, my friend, you can knock both of these turds down. In fact, you can knock everybody down except you didn't get that guy. Um, so, okay. Oh. Going after Los. When her big guardian is standing right next to her. I'm glad he moved over there, though. Bone Spider might attack him instead. Um, who's going to act next? Servant of Cinders. Which one is it? It's the one that's on the ground. She's going to pass her turn to the end of the thing. He is Servant of Death. No fire immunity. Okay, so here's what I want you to do, Red. Go over here. Can do the most damage here. Bunch of physical damage, stripping and set knockdown. Well, he's already knocked down, so I'm gonna cripple him. And I'm gonna save my point. I'm pretty sure if you kill this guy, his servants go away. Losa. No, 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 sir. That gives her some protection. She's got decaying on her, so the only real way to get rid of that that I know is fortify steam as a kid. heal herself. This guy. Let's try Sawtooth. Oh, that's so close to finishing him off. He's dead. Losa, this tricky bird here. Give your boy power if he needs to do more damage. Gonna keep trying to hit you. Do some extra physical damage there. With a totem. She's gonna get hurt. Is uh, what removes shackles? But cryo cryostasis removes shackles. Okay. okay. Um, I got an idea then. 
I'm just gonna chicken claw him. I'm not gonna attack him. And that way he should die when the big demon dies. Alright, which should be right now. Because I'm gonna use onslaught attack five times. Executed, yep, and the chicken's gone. Who's left? What's left? In this turn. Who's left? Oh, the bone spider. Oh, don't worry about the bone spider. He's mad. He's mad, but he won't be for long. So there we go. What was that battle? That, that wasn't too bad that time. It was pretty horrible the first three attempts, especially the first one because I had it completely under control and then I dropped Meteor Shower on the, the main demon there and he was completely immune. So, In fact, not only immune, he, he'll heal from it. That's nice armor, but let's see. It's better. I lose a point in Necromancer. But it's quite a bit better as far as everything else goes. I might have to just put that on. Alright, you're the only one who used any sorts. So talk to the girl. Sure did. Her voice shrinks to an awed, overcome whisper. Thank you. Hmm. Search her eyes. She's been through a lot. Ask her how she's feeling. She averts her gaze from yours. Her lower lip trembles as she speaks. The monster. It. It made me do things. Horrible things. She takes a deep breath, then raises her head and meets your gaze. Her stare is resolute. Aged far beyond her years. It showed me how bad things can get. But I'm still here, and it isn't. I think I'll be alright now. Wonder what she'll do now. I don't know. Maybe my family's still out there somewhere. Or maybe I'm alone. <laughs> maybe that's a good thing. I've had to share my head for so long. It would be good to be alone for a while. She falls into a contemplative silence for a moment, then perks up once again. Hey, do you know the magic -y stuff everyone's so scared of? Sauce. I can use sauce. It helped me to keep the monster from winning entirely. I don't need it anymore. I want you to have it. I'm going to go and find my cat now. He must be lonely without me. Bye. I won't forget you. Hmm, how nice. So then she drops all these source orbs, which are really awesome. And a whole bunch of experience. Source orbs are great, obviously, as, as rune type things put in elements, they give you give you a couple of nice things, but it's also just nice to have them if you need some extra source during the battle or something. So it's nice that she dumps a bunch of them off to you. That's it. That's Iris. And I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to pick it up. And we're going to walk back to town for like the 10th time. Can't have gone on after all this. So folks, thanks for watching. As always, we're going to be back in arcs proper here and continue on with the rest of the story. We still have Michael Ross's estate to deal with. There's still a bunch of stuff left to do, and there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath the city, actually. Um, the sewers in Arcs are kind of extensive, and there's a lot going on down there as well. We still have to find the painting so we can get all the way through uh, Lord Kim's vault. So there's a lot there. So while my team is running over there, I'll stop this video. I'll say it. my standard sign off if you guys like the content on the channel please subscribe and if you leave a question or a comment i will answer 
I will catch you next time as we continue to trek forward through Act 4 and the end of this game, approaching the final confrontation. Thanks for watching, people.